Memorial Day weekend is the official opening to summer recreation as millions would head out for some relaxation. But we often forget about the meaning behind the holiday. So joining us is local blogger Emily Benson from the BensonStreet.com. Emily, what is the original purpose of Memorial Day? It's not barbecuing necessarily. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it was really a way to recognize those who have fought for our country and who died. So they started and lots of different towns claim they started it. So mm -hmm. we don't really know who started it for sure. But pretty much they just went and they would decorate graves mm -hmm. and just remember and kind of be patriotic. And then it's kind of evolved to then we've celebrated everyone who's passed on, decorating everyone's graves, and now it's kind of becoming a shopping and barbecuing and family Pergola cooking, making which is day. kind of good day off too. Of work, yeah. <laughs> so you've brought a craft with you that uh, yeah. we can do with our kids, with our family, and just kind of bring back that meaning of Memorial Day. Yes, and this is their poppy flowers, which is symbolic. We wear those on Memorial Day or Veterans Day to remember those who have passed on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll start, and you kind of just cut out five flowers. And okay. Libby's are you gonna using, how many, are how using many petals? felt? Or? Yes, felt. Okay. How many? So one, two, three, four, five. Does it matter? It like six matter. petals. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what are so we going to do here? You're going to fold it in half. Okay. And then kind of like off center the petals okay. a little bit like that. Okay. And, and just a little dot of glue. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then kind of fold that together. I have been authorized to use the hot glue. <laughs> by the way. I have not. Okay. <laughs> and then you're going to put another dot of glue in the okay in the center again. Uh huh. Because okay. apparently you have to take a class. <laughs> you have to receive your certification. Again. Okay, so we want it to be kind of like all off centered so it looks really. Yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. That's hot, by the way, hot glue. <laughs> <See>? Okay. <laughs> and then, let me give you this one back. So you'll okay. have one that you'll leave like this. Okay. And then you're just going to glue four of those on here. So you can just put a dot of glue on there and then just. Okay. So then it just kind of makes it look nice and ruffly. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so Brings then we just go all the way around. Element, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just do four of them. And does it matter if they kind of all fit perfectly or does it? It's just, it's up to you. Some okay. people are more perfectionist than others. Some like it a little more whimsical. Okay. So well, I'm being fast, so this probably is not going to be one okay. you want to use. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be honest with you. <laughs> that's okay. But as with this family craft, let mom or dad operate the yeah, glue so gun. You yeah, so that's right. You have the kids cut out. Could you use like white glue or something if you wanted to, or would does that, that work not work? I'm not sure. I've never tried that. Hmm. Okay. It might not hold it as well. Okay. okay. And then. I've got for the center of the poppy, you just cut out a white circle of fabric and kind of fray out the edges. So you just okay. put another dot of glue in the middle. Okay. And stick that on there and then put another dot and you're going to just put a black button oh. in there. Cute. I'll just stick it in there for you. Okay, and it creates a nice little poppy. Yeah, so then you have a nice so flower. So this is something then that you can use to decorate the graves? Yes, you could decorate graves. You could use it at your picnic. You could even wear these. These ones on here have these little clips. Oh, oh. okay. You could just clip them so right just on. Just a nice mm -hmm. little remembrance. To wear around on yeah. Memorial Day. Very like good. So. Now, there's other ways that we can remember our loved ones who have passed on. What do you have here? Yes, so I have, this is actually a picture of my grandfather and a flag who fought in a war. So you can just remember those stories and share them. Ask hmm. the people who are still alive, who know them, and mm -hmm. just honor them. Just remember what they've done. Or just tell someone who's serving now, thank you. Just find a way to kind of bring back that patriotic sense into mm -hmm. Memorial Day. You can go and look at flags. I know in Freeman Park in Idaho Falls, they're having a big flag um, celebration through this weekend. So mm -hmm. you can go and look at all those flags or even just go to a cemetery. I read online there was an idea where you could go and look at a grave of someone who served in a war and look at it, kind of clean it up, and then go online and search and find out what you can find out about their mm -hmm. lives. So oh. you kind of just get to know these people who have fought for our freedoms and made it so that we have everything that mm -hmm. we have and that we can barbecue with our families. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was just going to say, you can still do the barbecue, but maybe mm -hmm. bring some more meaning to the barbecue yeah. as well. So a little yeah. remembrance and a little education. Yes. Perfect. All right, so if you'd like to learn how to make this craft, can they go to your blog? Yes, yes, www.thebensonstreet.com. All right, and we'll post a link to that on the video on the site, on our site as well. So uh, thank you so much, Emily. It was very nice. Thank very nice. You.